Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Swallow Your Whistle live podcast. My name is Nick. I'm here with my boy, Daniel. How you doing, Daniel? I'm doing good, man. What's going on? Oh, All-Star Weekend. All-Star oh, Weekend. I don't usually like it, but this year's a little bit different. I, You know what? I kind of like it every year, but this year was the best. It's been in a long time. Yeah, yeah, I, I, especially like for me, I don't really, I don't like it at all. I always skip it, but this time was actually, especially the All Star Game itself. I love seeing the players go at it with the refs. <laughs> that was awesome. over an All Star Game. Like that's the most like, uh, foreign thing ever in an All Star Game, especially. I thought that was amazing. It it was good. To, like they actually cared for once. Yeah, I yeah, don't exactly. Think I've ever seen them care. Like I can't remember once. Yeah, like, I remember one time it was close and it was like LeBron versus Kobe, and they kind of cared. That was it. It's a little it was like bit Kobe's last yeah. All Star game in Toronto. Oh man, yeah, no. Uh, but other than that, yeah, they've. They, this is the first time, definitely, that they've been like actually caring. And um, especially like I like the new format they did. What do you think about that? Oh, the new format was pretty sweet, actually. Like I didn't, ex- yeah. I, I didn't know what to expect. It's kind of weird, mm-hmm. but like. Mm-hmm. It, it, like you get used to it like super fast, and like yeah, mm-hmm. at the end of every quarter, like they're playing defense, they're carrying. Like at the end of the yeah. third, it was like a real ball game. It was nuts. For sure, it was super weird because like in the first in the first quarter, it was like, oh yeah, I'll start game, business as usual. Let's just have some fun. And then the fourth quarter, it was actual war. Like yeah, fans were going at it, it for it real. It was even more crazy because the first quarter was like LeBron's team was just crapping on uh, Giannis's team, and then it was reversed yeah. in the second quarter. Yeah. And then the third quarter, it was, they died because they're actually playing. Oh. And then the fourth geez. quarter was like legit ball. It was actually like it actually was a heated game, man. Yeah, I bro, remember like Chris Paul, that... Kyle Lowry, just complaining. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that that one time that um LeBron got past Giannis, he got like a he got like a step on Giannis, and Giannis oh. is like, oh hell no, nah. he oh him. hell no. Nah. And he, yeah, he chased it down. That was that was really really close. To, that was a hard call. I don't even know. I don't know. It could put it this way: if it went either way, I would have been okay with it. If if it was a goal ten, I would have been okay. If it it was a yeah, block, and I'm okay with me, that. Though. It looked pretty clean. I don't know. I don't know, man. It was close. It was real close. I didn't see an angle. We didn't see the angle on the backboard. That could have hit the backboard first, you know, or they could have hit at the exact same time. But either way, I think it was that was that was awesome. I love seeing it that because that's what the All Star game is, right? Like the the best players in the league actually going at it. That's what we want to see. So. And that's that's never what it's really been. So it's really awesome to see this. Yeah, you know what? I could have. I every year you can like go without watching it, but this year I feel yeah. like you actually missed out on something if you didn't watch it. Yeah, no, nah, I didn't watch it live unfortunately because I was just like, oh, this is going to be just trash as usual. But then you know, Gujon told me to watch those. Yeah, sorry, uh, Daniel told me to right. watch those highlights, and <laughs> I, I was so like. Right. <laughs> and I was like, "Damn, that's actually ridiculous!" Because I, I could feel the tensity in that game. The crowd is going crazy. Crowd is in it. The players are in it. Arguing with the refs. Like when when people are arguing with the refs over All Star Game, something something's happening. That's that's legit. I like seeing that. Um, but yeah, no, that was a great. That was a great. So I want. I would love to see Kyrie in a game like that. Bro, you saw love- you saw a prime playoff Harden too. Like <laughs> I'm choking away. <laughs> And, Come on, uh, man. Kemba, hey, leave Harden low. <laughs> Kemba, Kemba, yo, Kemba Kemba turned over the ball like three times in a row. Yeah, insane. I know. But he, he he did have that one shimmy, that one crossover, oh, yeah, which yeah, was yeah. nice but, to see. Yo, Kemba was fired for like the first three quarters. And then the last quarter, Kawhi he, too. he was just like, nah, I'm just going to just curl yeah. up into a ball. And, yeah, like, I'm, I'm not actually. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> nah, Kawhi was fired all game. Luca and Trey only played like what 17 18 minutes. Yeah, but if Trey was in the game, Team LeBron would have won like 20 minutes earlier. <laughs> yeah, Trey got no defense. Yeah, he would have got walked. Yeah. Yo, oh they should have put Rudy in. Rudy was on fire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but okay, but who are you taking out for Rudy though? Siakam probably. True, true. I could see that. Siakam, Siakam uh, especially. Wasn't that good. Siakam had the same thing as Kemba. He was good for the first three quarters and the last quarter yeah. he had a couple buckets, but he was like, meh. But he played good defense. Yeah. Man, okay, yo, in another podcast, we got to talk about Siakam. But anyways, <laughs> I, 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 I got I to gotta, I gotta figure out what's up. Anyways, but yeah, no, the, the All-Star game was absolutely fire. Um, What do you think about the what about, what do you think about the Seals Challenge? I didn't watch that. I'm not going to lie. All right, yeah, I watched, I watched, like, I didn't watch the whole Seals Challenge. <laughs> I, I didn't even watch, I didn't even watch the highlights, bro. Oh, so you stopped <laughs> watching it midway. Was it that bad? No, no, okay, I watched Siakam. 
in the yeah. first round, and then I watched him in the second round, and like I just watched mm-hmm. his two like legs, and he lost in the second round. The Bam, who ended up winning, and then I just watched the finals, and I skipped like the rest of it. Wait, see, Akam wasn't a skills challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he got to the semis. He lost a. Okay, what's the skills challenge? You, you okay? So, it's the first round is guards versus big men. Okay, and the last three years, big men have won. It's literally all luck. It's all luck. You dribble a ball up the court through like pylons, make a, a chest pass. Get the ball back, go run down the court, lay the ball in, then run back down the court and hit a three. It, it used to be like like three, four passes and like actually like dribbling the ball down the court and like shooting and stuff, but they changed it to this quick thing and it kind of sucks now. I don't know. That just seemed, that always seemed kind of lame to me. I don't feel like I don't know. I guess I, it just seems like basic drills. Yeah, you know? it kind of sucks. It's all luck. It's like whoever yeah. hits the ball, whoever hits the shot first. Like whoever like, hits none the shot. Of the, yeah. None of the actual like. Dribbling portion of it matters because everyone's pretty much the same. Yeah, like no one's gonna like mess up on that. Carl Anthony Towns won and Porzingis won like over the last five years. Bro, I can and win bam, it. And Bam and Bam in a bio. I could actually win that on a good day. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. It's like twenty percent <laughs> chance I win that amongst amongst, amongst NBA players for you, sure. You remember um, oh, what was it called? Um, the shooting stars challenge where like it would be like uh, a WNBA player an NBA like all star and a legend and they would have to shoot a ball from like um, the free throw line and then the three point line and then the half court that sounds awesome yeah and everyone everyone on the, like the squad the three man squad would have to make the shot it used to be sweet it used to be sick and then they, they got rid of it and put this back in mm. interesting and like Chris Bosh was like the king of it Oh really? Yeah, he used to oh, win like man. every year. He was he was gross. Damn. Well, I mean, this I don't I don't mind this, but I feel like we need to see more skill. If I'm being honest, <laughs> like like I want to see like if we're dribbling, I need to see I need to see some Kemba dribbles, Kyrie dribbles, Curry well, it dribbles. It used to be good. It, you like used to be like actual an actual like thing where you make like five six yeah. passes, like chess passes, like bounce pass, like full court pass. Mm-hmm. If we're seeing some layups, I need to see some like some uh, some reversals, some stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, just like like just drop it in or do like a light, yeah. like one arm one handed dunk off two feet. Like, like come on now, <laughs> it's a skills challenge, right? Show me some finesse, show me some Yo, skill. I want to see all that. Like it doesn't even matter. Like none of it matters because when they're running down the court for that like layup, they just wait yeah. for each other. Like. Like if they they're not like racing to lay the ball in, that yeah. they just wait for each other to lay the ball in, and then they go down and shoot the three. Whoever hits the three wins. That's what it is. Whatever. Anyways, I'm I'm happy. I feel like I'm glad I didn't watch. It feels like I didn't miss out on much. Nah, it's but not. um. <laughs> so what about okay? So yeah, yeah. I think it would be awesome to see like, but I guess not many not many players in the NBA have handles like. Like Kemba or handles like Kyrie, for example. Yeah, but I don't even. That's think the thing. Handle things matter. It's just like, yeah. Are you gonna hit this three? Is it gonna bounce in for you? No, but I'm not saying like I feel like if they made it better. Oh, if they more, made it better, yeah. But yeah, I don't know how many players have that many. Um, they made it faster. That's the issue. Yeah. The thing, they they don't care about it because they just care about the three point contest and the slam dunk contest. Mm-hmm. Like they just want to mm-hmm. make this thing as a warm up and get it like done as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so okay, what do you think about the three point contest? And that was pretty. That was pretty I, I think I think the three point contest is always good. It's like you can't mm-hmm. have a bad one, but you're not gonna have like the best thing ever out of it. It's just consistently like seven out of ten. Consistent seven, consistent better than average yeah, grade. Yeah, that's what it always is. But this year was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Like the last three guys were all flying. Bertie yeah, no, I didn't have a good was... last round, but he was fire on the first round. Mm-hmm. It was I. That was kind of it. Kind of kept me. The highlights kept me to the very end. Seeing um, yeah, buddy hit the last uh, shot. How buddy he'll like get that? Yeah, because he had to hit every single one of those rack on that last rack there. It was yeah, really it was cool sweet. to see that. that. Was pretty clutch. I think he had to make four yeah. to five or something. It was clutch. Yeah, I heard. I heard Trey <laughs> did pretty <laughs> Trey bad. didn't have a good run, but whatever. Which is crazy because Trey yeah, has. He's only good at those he, long distance threes, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, he can only the, shoot Curry range. They added that spot, like that deep yeah. ball. That was sweet. Actually, was cool. I kind of liked it. Yeah, I think that's really good. Yeah, yeah, no, I, they've definitely evolved. Oh, in general, I think they've been trying to make changes to make the All Star game better, and obviously the All Star competition is better as well. So, I think yeah, the three point competitions, like being, them being able to pick their hotspot sort of thing. That was that always there. 
No, this first year they did it. I was super skeptical of like of it in general, but it was yeah. pretty good. I didn't mind it. Oh, no. it. It just felt like a marketing thing because they named it like the Mountain Dew Splash Zone or something. Oh, I was like, oh, yeah, it was just straight marketing. But it, but it was actually pretty. It cool. helped though. It, it helped cool. the game. I have, like yeah. people shoot from there now, so like it makes yeah. sense. Yeah, they adapted. They adapt the competition to the to today's game. So yeah, I mean that leaves us with the, the spicy, uh, dramatic <laughs> yeah <laughs> competition. <laughs> All right, this left dunk contest. Derek Jones, yeah. won, the junior, won this airplane mode. But, like, come on. Air I Jordan, was. Bro, he dunked over a 7 5 taco fall. Clear, How did you lose? Clear taco fall. That declared taco fall. I don't. Dwayne Wade looking at looking at these guys like, <laughs> got him. Got <laughs> him. Got his score. Derek Wade? Jones plays for Miami Heat, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah, see, really Dwayne Wade, legend really make always. Sense. It legit doesn't make any sense. Why is he, why is he a judge? Dwayne Wade got him. No, I I remember watching the highlights. I knew who won prior to watching the highlights, but I got really immersed in it. And so I'm watching. I watched Eric Gordon's dunk, and I was like, oh, man. Okay, he definitely won this. Even though, like, prior to wa- watching it, I uh, I knew I knew, already knew in my head that Derrick Jones Jr. won. But as I was watching it, I somehow in my head I was convinced, oh, damn, Eric Gordon definitely won this. And <laughs> no, then I was like, Oh, damn! They actually, they actually finessed this man. De- Dwayne Wade, the Heat legend, got his boy. Got well, him. Uh, got them another title. Would you have been mad if it was a tie? Um, I wouldn't have been. I thought it would have been fine as a tie. It would have been fine as a tie. Yeah, yeah like it, it would have been okay as a tie. But I think, I think, um, yeah, if Dwayne I was voting, I would have voted Eric Gordon. Because hmm? Common said they were supposed to make it a tie, and then one of the judges. Didn't make it a said, nah. and they all so hell Dwayne, nah. They all looked at Dwayne Wade when uh, they dropped the when they dropped the score. They're telling you, bro, inside Yo, job, he, Miami he Heat up, connections. He straight up took off his headset and started. And it was it. He was gone <laughs> when they announced the score. Dwayne, Le- left Derek the scene Jones of the Jr. crime. Yeah, bro, didn't left the scene back. of the crime. Derek Jones Jr. was legit laughing. Like, yeah, bro, he was, had, he was like, "Oh, I didn't win that. No, sir, I didn't win that. I didn't deserve to win that one." Nah, yeah, no, I. That was dope, but those are some dope, dope dunks. I really like them. Man, there's this one in particular that I like, the Aaron Gordon. Eric Gordon. Is it Eric Gordon or Aaron Gordon? Aaron, Aaron. Aaron, 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 Aaron sorry. Aaron plays for the Rockets. For the, for the Rockets. Small ball. Small ball for small life. Ball, Anyways. Bro, they got some new he, <laughs> Aaron, uh, Aaron Gordon, this one dunk where the guy, he was running um from running from the side of the net. The guy threw it off the side of the net, and he caught it, and he did like this. Oh, this He did this, like, turbine like this, bro, and he was just like... <laughs> Boom, was, like he, my only issue was, with that one is he missed he missed once and yeah he did miss once he like, did I feel miss like if you once. miss you you automatically get a point off yeah that's another thing the point system in the the dunk competition is kind of whack to me like just it's too easy to get fifties like yeah, no, no, I get it's that the I get that the, yeah no I get that those those um like those are like top of the line dunks but like All right. maybe maybe give it like 49, 48. But like, not it can't just can't be giving out fifties like that. It has to be spectacular. Yeah, Dwight had a Dwight had a dunk in the first round that was like a forty nine, oh. and it was like it was like nothing. Like Dwight and Connaughton both had like good dunks, but like, Dwight's first one sucked, and they got like a forty nine. I was just like, bro. <laughs> Yo, the guy was a hole like two feet into the from the free throw line into the into that Superman. Yeah, dunk. bro, he's old. Like, what do you expect? He was just there. For, he's literally just there for like like remember this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't care that he um, was in it. I don't care that he did that. I, I just care that they gave him a 49. 49. Yeah, bro. Or a 48. Was, or yo, 48. That was, they rated that dunk better than Aaron Gordon's jump over Taco Fall. <laughs> they probably didn't think he cleared him. That's why. But I think if you look at the slow motion. Yeah, you see you, Taco put his hands up after he takes the ball off and it clips yeah. him. Which is yeah. kind of funny, but whatever. Yeah, because Aaron didn't. He didn't at all like use. He didn't lift he himself did, yeah, over. Yeah, like, he just jumped. The guy just actually flew. My favorite yeah, dunk of the night though was Connaughton's when he jumps over. Um, I can't oh remember yeah, who it was? He jumps over the guy yeah. and then he he taps the the backboard the, and puts it down. That, that was sweet. That was underrated. That was definitely an underrated. That dunk. was my that favorite was dunk of the night. Yeah, I like that one a I, lot I too. Think, I think that's the, the, one of the better dunk contests. Like between that yeah. one and the one in Toronto when it's Levine and Gordon. 
it, it's because like a lot of times the problem is like I always found in the dunk competition it was always like bigger guys doing it and then they didn't really have to jump that high. I like seeing when like the smaller guys jump really high oh, to yeah, make like those Nate dunks. Robinson? Yeah, like that's that kind of stuff always is always oh, like wow, like this guy's flying. I I can't remember uh Han- Hanaru the uh, the Alu one last year and he jumped over Shaq. I don't remember how big he is though. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. Is he over or under five? Uh, over or under six five? I think he's over. He might be like six eight. That's still pretty good though. Jumping over Shaq, that's crazy. I tell you right now. Okay. And he put his arm in the in like the basket too. Oh sweet. really? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty sweet. Yeah, like, that that always kind of freaks me out. Like I feel yo, like six, five. I don't know why that would hurt. Oh, he's six five? Yeah, bro, it was, it was pretty clean. That's insane. And he cleared check this year, so he didn't defend it. Mm, mm. He cleared check though, right? Like yeah, he cleared yeah. him. Yeah, it was clean. Oh. It was pretty clean. And like he he put his his whole arm in the in the net too. It was pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. Man, no, no, nah, nah, that was a sick. He was good last year, but last year kind of sucked in general. He was like the only good one. Oh, okay. I saw I saw. Shame. John Moran on Twitter said he's not doing the dunk contest because they screwed over Aaron Gordon. Oh, my God. He's, wait, you he say he's not doing it next year? He, he said he's not going to do it because of the judging. Oh, my gosh. And then someone tweeted at him that they need him and Zion need to do it, and he said, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ja. I would love to see uh, Zion and Ja in the competition. I don't they do it. Though. Like, what's the point if, yeah. like, if the person who's supposed to win doesn't win? If it gets rigged, sure. like... Well, who knows? Maybe they'll change it. They've changed everything else. Yo, they bro, could change. Bring back like the actual judges, like the old, the old guys, like Doctor J and stuff. Yeah. Like those guys are jokes. Like you got MJ and Doctor J judging. Like, come on, yeah. you can do it. <laughs> MJ wouldn't judge just for his life, or he didn't give a damn. No, he's done it before. I remember. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wait. I didn't even know that. I guess that's what I get for not watching these competitions. Yeah. Uh, I remember. I think they did the Toronto one. I think they did the the Toronto one. Yeah, I think it was the Toronto one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, if they can get MJ to judge it, they can get anyone then. So. Yeah, it was sweet. I remember it being sweet. Um. Okay, so... We could talk about... Okay, wait. Before uh, we, like, jump into something else, I want to ask you. Yeah. Uh-huh. What, like, you have an interesting take. Like, you don't like... Like, explain why you don't like the actual... Uh, Actually, band. yes. So... I remember I worded it. I'm going to look up exactly what I worded. Because I know that... I know... I had an... So what I said... Yeah, basically... I didn't like the all-star competition, especially every year prior to this one, just because I felt like it was meaningless in the grand scheme of the sport. I don't feel like it really contributed. I don't feel like it really contributes to any of the players' goals or accomplishments in the sports. I like I get I get that um, like the all-star all-star being part of the all-star team, being recognized as you know one of the, the greatest amongst the greatest players in the league. That's a good. That's awesome. That's that's just an accolade, right? But the actual game itself, it always felt very like meaningless because it's like whoever wins this stuff, the wins the competitions there. In that, for me, I always think bigger picture. I'm always thinking like, okay, that is no one's gonna really care um, after who so and so wins the championship or so and so knocks whoever out the playoffs. So for me, it always felt like a waste of time to invest my emotions into it, especially when the players didn't try. I mean, the primary. The like it's 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 there in the in the in the advertising. The primary reason for it is um, entertainment for the fans. But then for me, I love the competition. I love the that's what makes it entertaining for me. The storylines that follow throughout the different teams, the different players. But all of what I really like in the NBA isn't necessarily prevalent, or it wasn't necessarily prevalent as much um, in the previous All Star games. That was that's the biggest thing for me. Um, and I, it carries across in like other sports too. Like Daniel was saying, like there's pointless cup competitions. Like you're saying that 
Juventus, for example, faces Milan every year, and it's kind of like just an exhibition match, and it just wastes. It's just a way. It was just no one cares about the match. The players don't care. It's just a meaningless kind of thing going on, and so that's why I've never really been interested in the All Star game because not only do I not have much care in it, it just never felt like the players themselves cared about the All Star game. But uh, this year, that's why I was really, 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 really happy with what I saw this year. But yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think I like it usually. I think it's fun. The season's yeah. so long. Like, like there's no, there's not enough time. Like, okay, soccer. I can see you not doing an all star game because you're only playing like max, like regular season wise. You're playing like thirty two games, thirty five games, mm-hmm. and then your uh, your cup games. Not every team is playing in in like in, in like Champions League and stuff like that. So like really, you're playing maybe fifty games a year. Yeah, maybe more. Usually, some the bigger teams might play a little more, but mm-hmm. NBA, you're playing 82 games alone in the regular season, no matter what. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You could play up to like 100, and <laughs> it would be like wait, yeah, it'd be like 110 would be almost the max you could play in a regular like overall. Yeah. So like, there's there's a lot of times so if you broke it up this way, you give the players a week off, they relax. Hmm. Even, yeah, no. even baseball and hockey have the same thing. It's right in the middle. You get a week off. They relax. It's fun for the players. I don't mind the break. I agree with the break, and I agree like with um, it being fun. Like it's because that's just, that's what it is. The show, right? They they present it that way. But I've just never been really heavily, I don't know, interested in it. I don't know. I mean, maybe I don't like basketball enough. <laughs> I don't know. But like for me, it's like I I love seeing like players really go at it so like but if they keep doing it that like this format where it's this level of intensity i'll actually watch it because i'd love to i love seeing i love that they have Giannis and lebron set up the team and then i love having seen the team actually go at it especially like towards the end towards especially towards like the end of the third quarter and the entire fourth quarter it was serious ball going on right there i really like seeing that so if they keep it like this i'll be more interested but i don't know i need I love the competition. That's what it's. That's what it's. That's what it, what I'm really there for. Yeah, I th- I still think there's some competition no matter what. Yeah, like in the three point contest and dunk contest, they want to win that. Yeah, like for sure. Well, maybe not the dunk contest. Like the three point contest, they care. Mm. That's that's probably like I think genuinely over. The the past years, I think that's probably been the biggest accolade out of the the, the other all, out of all the competitions. Like whether it comes from winning the All Star game or winning the dunk competition, I feel like winning the the, the three point competition has always been the biggest. Yeah, um, like it was a big deal for uh, biggest deal. It was like a big deal for Joe Harris to win last year. Yeah, like it was. Yeah, like a really big deal. Mm-hmm. Like he yeah, was, no, like campaigning was... to get into it. Yeah, like like I can um okay, like Booker won one, healed one this year obviously, Harris won one, Curry's won one, Clay's won one, Kyrie's won one. Um I don't know who else I can name. I know I know Dirk won one. And mm. um oh, I think Eric Gordon won one too. And I don't remember the other one. the other one's weird. it's like Bell and Nelly or something. And then like for the dunk competition like like I can maybe name like the last three, like Dialu, obviously this mm. year is, is uh, what's his name? <laughs> I can't even remember, bro. Derek Jones Jr. You already already forgetting. Already forgetting. Like Levine won. Don't don't accept him. Don't accept him as the fr- as the win. Yeah, exactly. That's... Levine won twice in a row. Yeah. And I can't like that's all I can really remember. I think maybe Glenn Robinson won one. Mm. Yeah, like like I like like the three point contest sticks in my mind because like this is what guys are actually like playing for. Yeah, like that's the thing. Like they actually really try, and it's also very. Um, it translates, and exactly, and it's there. There's so much more. I feel um, pressure. Like pressure. There's more skill, and not not necessarily more skill, but it's like to make that many shots. Yeah. In a row, row. it's like it's seconds, like there's a lot. This year was seven. Yeah. But like. Yeah, like I like that a lot. Yeah, it's some clutch gene in you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think. Um, I think that's probably the best, best accolade someone could win at the the All Star game or most recognizable. 
But yeah, that's sorry, the All Star competitions. Yeah, sorry. I don't know why I said All Star game. Yeah, the, just touching on like the little stuff, like the Rising Star game was fun to watch. Is it like nothing serious there? But it's still fun. Zion yeah. Zion and Ja put on a show like that. Those two can never be on the same team. Like that has to be a rule. <laughs> Both too gross to be on the same team. Bro, I think RG Zion the game in scoring. Miles uh, Bridges got the MVP somehow. <laughs> Miles Bridges. Yo, he threw off oh. he threw down like the nastiest dunk, mm -hmm. I, like off the backboard. It was gross. One like one handed off the backboard. It was gross. Yeah, yeah. And it was like in play too. Like it wasn't like at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. the, the most oh boy, most important thing of the weekend: NBA All Star Celebrity Game. <laughs> team Will. Oh. Team like Wilbon beat uh, Team Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> Stephen A, man, Stephen had his one shot, one shot at the. Yo, Stephen A got a tech. It was Joe. How do you get it? How do you get a tech in a celebrity game? Bro, it was so funny. I was dying. Bro, and I think. Yo, his assistant coach came on and got him, and it was Guy Fieri. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Bro, dying. yo, Cream E Bigums. That's all I got. That's probably, that guy is def. That was my favorite moment of the entire All Star break. <laughs> See my man's like See, going with the hesitation. The so smooth, <laughs> he got the oh the hesitation the euro step into the layup I mean to the moon <laughs> yeah, bro that guy the guy's a party pooper man you should let him go for the layup Quinn Richardson's was a Warriors legend <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's a party pooper as well he's a buzzkill <laughs> yo Quavo buzz I I watched that I don't even know why I watch this but Quavo is the worst basketball player I've ever seen in the last couple of years he's been actually good I think he won an MVP like game MVP one year but he was Did Quavo. <laughs> Oh or, man, or kind of off game, off game, off night, bro, off night, <laughs> off night. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that pretty much sums up the All Star weekend yeah, for me. Yeah, would you would you watch? Like, would you like get into it more if they keep this format? I would watch the All Star game, yeah, yeah more like I'd actually watch it from start to finish if they kept this yeah, format. Like I know the ratings are up from from like this year, like eight mm percent. -hmm. Like I'd watch it, no problem. Yeah, I would definitely watch if it watch if it feels like this. I'd love to see this live because that's yeah, actually really it's fun live, and exciting. It was so good live. <laughs> yeah, especially if Kyrie play is playing it Yo, next Kyle year. Kyle Lowry took a charge from Kawhi. <laughs> and Harden. <laughs> and Harden, and he should have got another one against LeBron. Like LeBron went end to end. Yeah. And ran him over. Yo, Kyle was gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's putting his body on the line for an All Star game. You love to crazy. see it. <laughs> you love to see it. Yeah, as a warrior. Yeah, that's, oh, that's pretty much it, though. Yeah, better All Star game. I yeah. was I was pleasantly surprised. Um, sorry, not All Star game, like All Star weekend. Yeah, yo, keep it up. Yeah, especially the game. Like that's gotta stay. That's that's gotta stay. For sure, that's gotta stay. That's awesome. Yo, that was awesome. If my one criticism criticism would be, put six guys in the dunk contest. I don't care that you want it to only be like like an hour and a half. Like, put six guys in it. I'm pretty sure you could have got six guys this year. It'd be awesome if they found a way to add more. Yeah, like, more of a recognition to to the, these competitions. I don't know how, but it'd be cool. I I feel like it, you just more some people to know it, and some people care, and some people don't. Like I know yeah. I know Derek Jones Jr. I'm sure he was gonna get he was getting a shoe deal no matter what, but he got a Puma shoe deal like. Like today, like the like two days after the dunk contest, like I'm sure he was already in talks for it, but like still, yeah, it helps. Yeah, yeah, fair play. But yeah, definitely steps in the right direction. Oh, for sure, it's definitely yeah. an improvement. Yeah, I got nothing else, dude. Yeah, that's it for me. I think that's it for us. Yeah. You know how it is. You know, follow us on Podbean. Swallow your whistle on YouTube, Podbean, Apple Podcasts. On yep, Twitter, yep, we're SWI yep. <laughs> show. That's pretty much it. And we're going to try to get on Spotify like, this week. Share, follow, Brad, subscribe, yeah. everything all the above. <laughs> Five star gonna, reviews. I'm going to try to get us on Spotify this week. If I'm not Sounds thinking. perfect, man. Sounds perfect. That's easy peasy. Yeah. All right. That's it. Thanks for, for watching, guys. Peace.